Hey there guys, today I'm gonna show you how to play PS1 games on the PSP by converting them into a playable PSP format. Um, first of all, you need custom firmware um, because you need a couple of plugins and or a plugin and the following plugin you need is Pops Loader. Um, you need to find this yourself because this is um, made thousands of times for the Pacific custom firmware so um, you need to find that yourself uh, and also you need two programs it's called Magic ISO in order to extract the CD into um, an ISO file uh, on the PC and P uh, PSX to PSP uh, to convert them. Um, today I'm, I'm gonna convert uh, Resident Evil 2 um, for the yeah from an original uh, PSX disc. Um, the disc is right next to me. Uh, but first, um, there was a famous crash. Um, at the police station so here's my uh, PSP screen to show you that this is my PSP screen I'm gonna press the home button ta -da, there's a home um, wait up oh wait up wait up uh, yeah there it comes um, when you enter the police station you open the door and the door opens and you hear the music but then there's a black screen this is uh... this uh... i'm gonna show you also today so uh... let's just end this game hoping that my uh... remote joint light doesn't crash yes alright so um... yeah when we have done that um, First, you need a program to extract the um, official uh, yeah, game from a CD to in, into an ISO. I already done that. So here they are. Uh, let's need two PSP CDs. And this is the Clan Leon. So we open the, um, the, the PSX to PSP and just click here and there are five things you can select here this is for multi-disc like Final Fantasy 7 if you need to change um, the discs in game before you can save but um, both of the discs are separate uh, well are the whole game so we don't need to use that so we click one and we click the Claire disc uh, wait up uh, we're gonna search it up PSP Resident Evil 2 PSP CDs Claire and then in order to fix the 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 police station problem you need to change the game ID to SLPS and then a numeric code of 01222 and do the same here as a PS zero one two two two. All right. When you've done that, you need to uh, click the extract folder. So we go to PSP and then Resident Evil Two PSP eBoot and click OK. Uh, these are the icons. So when I click this. Um, I click uh, yeah background and I want this my as my icon or no wait the boot and as the background image I want this one and as the boot um, yeah the boot uh, normally this will be icon zero but uh, in order to separate my fixed um yeah I so with this one I I have changed the um, the screen so uh it will be looking like this on your PSP right now. 
Alright, when you've done that, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop the movie uh, for a little while and then after he's done with the converting, I'm gonna play it again when I am at the police station with the new ISO. So it will take a while when I'm playing this movie again. So uh, be right back. All right. Um, so now I have um, yeah extracted the new ISO to my memory stick. Um, so just to show you how I made my eboot, um, this is what I meant. Uh, made a separate one. I gave him a different picture. This is uh, the Leon disc. This is what I play right now. And just to show you guys, this works. Um, yeah this is how I set it up so uh, when I click this hoping that the program does not crash you can see he is now and oh wait up Yeah, sorry for the crash. This uh, program crashes a lot when it's trying to switch uh, between the. Um, yeah, this game needs to switch every time you, you want to start up something. So it doesn't crash right now. But um, as you can see, the game starts up right now. And yeah, I'm gonna pause uh, the video again. And then I'm gonna rush uh, to uh, the. Um, to the police station again and let you see that is this is a fix that works so uh, yeah I'll, um, I'll I'll see you back later again hey there guys so now uh, I've rushed to the police station again and uh, watch what happens when I enter the police station right now see the game continues no problem and you can play the game so um, if you ever have converted a um, P uh, PSX game just uh, make sure um, maybe they need another uh, pops loader version um, this package what I have is uh, from 1.0 I think to 4.01 uh, so uh, yeah it's a huge package and if that doesn't help uh, yeah just uh, search for a website where they show the latest game IDs because game IDs change and um, yeah just fill in the latest game ID for your game and maybe 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 it works and otherwise if it then doesn't work then yeah then it's just a game that doesn't work uh, with the latest pops loader or uh, yeah the game IDs but mostly when you change the game IDs to the latest game ID that was shown on a website then uh, mostly it works so uh, yeah I hope this um, this helped you and yeah I'm running uh, custom firmware 5.00 m 33 6 so uh, just um, you guys know that so uh, I hope you like my movie and if you have any questions uh, fill it in the comments below Later.